So today I would like to talk about something that's a bit different. So for the past few months I've been watching lots of videos reviewing the DJI Action 4. Great camera, you know, blah blah blah. And I, and as you know, I bought one, you know, the Action 4. A few weeks ago I got it. Fantastic, brilliant. Um, there are a few things I want to talk about, especially with this the battery pack, which people don't really tell you. D DJI aren't lying about it, they're just not fully explaining. And I'll start with talking about a few little things with this that no one really talks about. Well, some people do now, but didn't. So, okay, so let's move the coffee. <laughs> don't want to spill it everywhere. So as you can see, there's three batteries in there. Three batteries, the green light showing, blah, 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 you know, yeah. So if you take the batteries out, as you, as you do, you know. Right, this box is just an empty shell. There's no power bank inside it. There's nothing to charge up. It's just an empty shell. Yeah. So when they say on the website that it's a power bank, it means that when the batteries are in, You can connect devices to it through the oh you can connect deny devices to it through the USB so you could charge your phone, but it takes the power from the batteries to charge devices. So if you're taking this out on a long hike and using all the batteries, don't use this as a power bank because you find your batteries just drain. So so what it is is to charge your batteries up you need to, to plug a power lead to a outlet or computer or you know power bank or no power bank and that will charge your batteries up without anything charged in there if your battery dies during the day you put it in there it's not going to charge it up it's not like the microphone these ones where it's got a power bank inside which charges the microphones <clears throat> this will not charge your batteries unless there's power to it so I'm thinking people might make the mistake of taking this out with them all day and then using the phone to charge up. I find out the batteries aren't that good. It's because you you drain the batteries to charge something else up, you know. So, yeah. Another thing as well, once these lights, the green light, when charging does not mean fully, does not mean it's fully charged. I read the instructions, which is not normal for me. <laughs> There's different colours. The green is... 80% charged but when you charge up and the lights go black that's fully charged so it takes the one with the um, least charge first and then once the lights go all black it's fully charged you can unplug it the batteries will drain naturally if they're left in here because it's because it's connected to the the metal things so it was going to drain it so if you're out and about all day I would take a power bank or two with you use these for charging your phones and other devices not this because you say your batteries will die but you can just plug this into that and charge your batteries up that way so that is not inside there so that's it so most people who've got actual cameras have got power banks galore you know what I mean because you're going to have them from the past. I mean, I've had this. I've got two of these. I've had them for a couple of years. I used to use, used to use them for the Quest too. <laughs> you know, um, and they work perfect, brilliantly. These are solar panel ones, so when it's in daylight, the light goes green, but it takes fourteen hours to charge through sunlight, and about four hours to charge through power. So yeah, I got these from B and M for fifteen quid each. You can get better ones, you know. So yeah, also when you get this box, when you get this, because I got this separately, um, you don't get the power leads with it. But when you buy the adventure combo, you get a power lead. But if you've got this, you've got the action four, action three anyway, so you've got a power lead anyway. Um, but it would be nice to have it included, but they didn't, but it's no big no big biggie, you know. So that's the battery case. As I said, most YouTubers 
um, have opened the boxes. They've not really talked about the batch pack, you know, so they're bound to have learned the lesson from it. Now, when it comes to the action four, there's one thing that people have been saying is, you know, when you've got the Hawaii's in balance where you could turn your camera all the way around and it stays level. At 45 degrees, it alters, it changes. But if you put horizon lock on and the <clears throat> and the horizon thingy will go 360, it will. I don't know if it depends on the resolution you're in or something like that. I don't know. But I found that out. And you can make that screen um, full in the of the square. You can make it into 16 by 9, a tiny little, so you can see everything on that screen. I can't remember how I did it, but I did it because you, you start off with a zoomed in square which doesn't show the whole view. You have to look on the back, but and then I made it so you can have one screen at a time. And again, I've done it, I've forgotten how I did it. I went through all the options and menus when I first got it. So, but people say that, oh no, you're going that and 45 degrees and you can't do a full, but you can do a full 360. Maybe it's been upgraded since people had it, I don't know, because I've only had it two weeks. Um, I love this camera to bits, it's fantastic. I love this to bits. So that's it, I mean, there's, I'm only learning this stuff as I go along. I'm, you know, I'm trying to point things out that I didn't see in reviews. I've only just recently seen people talking about the battery thing. Um, but I knew it before I got it, so, you know. But yeah. If I find anything else out, I'll do update videos. Yeah. Okay. In a few weeks' time, I'm going to buy the small rig case that goes around it. So you can flip the side up and put the battery in without taking the case off, kind of thing, you know. Gives it a bit more. And it's got cold shoe mounts and stuff, so. Yeah. Okay, that's it really. Today I'm off out to meet Jacks in the UK to go to San Fierro. And then tomorrow I'm going to go to Dover Castle filming lots of video. And yeah, so I expect lots of videos this week. Um, don't know what days, I've got to edit. I might spend Monday editing and have them up during certain days of the week. But they'll be up soon. Uh, once I've filmed them. As long as nothing goes wrong, you know. So look out for them, subscribe, like, comment, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one.